Shepherd School presents duct tape dowel rod fletching. Okay, um, our first, one of our very first videos that we ever did was making a, uh, a sling bow like Dave Canterbury showed using a wrist rocket, right, to shoot arrows. Problem is, arrows are awful expensive, and to save some money, I used some kids' arrows, and they were awful small. And so I couldn't get full up enough to get a lot of uh, power. So I've got me a 7 8 dowel rod, and that means I can fully extend out and get a lot of power. Uh, now, the thing about making arrows with dowel rods is they're typically not very straight. Uh, depending on how the grain runs, uh, they might not be very strong. And for the amount of work it takes to, to get a straight one, or straighten it, um, you might as well go get some cedar arrows, shafts, and, and whatever. But for an experiment, for playing around, for just showing you uh, something, uh, this will work. Now, the thing about duct tape fletching, you know, it's it's never going to be as good as, as regular fletching, but it's something that you can do, you know, in an emergency, right? So what I did is on the arrow, I took and marked out uh, three little tick marks, right? Just like, um, you know, to mark it in thirds. And then I came out and I made a little, little line there so I can see. And then I got me three little pieces of duct tape, all about the same length. <laughs> okay, so I've got my tape and I've got my tick mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the center of the tape right in between two of the tick marks, okay? And I'm just going to roll it down just a little bit. So this is lined up right in between the two ticks. And I've rolled the tape around, right? So that it won't get stuck. I'm going to take the second piece of tape and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to lean it And we're going to very carefully and gently smooth that down right until the two pieces of tape meet, okay? Then what will happen is, okay, so I've got sticky tape, sticky tape. And when they meet, right there at that center, when I stick them together, now I have one of the veins, right? I'm going to smooth them till halfway between the tick mark. And then I'm going to roll it back and right there, okay? Same thing with this one. Halfway between the two tick marks. And I'm going to roll it back. And what that gives us is the basis for our other two fletchings. Okay. So then I'm going to take the other piece of tape. Run it right down the center. And then I'm just going to unroll. Uh -huh. 
So I got my second vein. And I unroll. Oh. And I've got my third vein. Oh. Okay. And then I just get some scissors and I trim them. So this is just kind of rough. I was doing this for real life. I'd use a, yeah, I'd use a, you know, a, a, a template, right? But there we go. And also, if I was doing this for real life, I wouldn't put it flush. I'd leave leave a little bit back in the back for a knock, right? Unless maybe I was making a crossbow arrow. Right? So there you go. Pretty simple. Crossbow fletching. And they're 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 relatively sturdy, but they're not gonna last. Here we go. We'll let him hold. Here you go. So is it sturdy enough for a 15-month-old? Probably not. <laughs> but it's good for, for, a, for a shot or two. Oh, be careful. All right, so there you go. Just something to play with. It probably needs a little bit of work to, to, to be useful. But uh, there you go. Until next time, you guys get some on. www.tngun.com. You want to give it back? Thank you. Bye-bye. Give it five.